Hi everyone, welcome back. Today's video, I'm gonna show you all how I achieved this beautiful hair color and also layers on this wig. This wig install is already up, so if you would like to know how I installed the wig and all those details, click the video that just popped out. But honey, today I'm gonna show you how to get those salon results at home. Valentine's Day is coming. This style is perfect for love day. So if you want all the details, we're gonna get right into it. So before we get into today's video, I want to go over the poll results. I asked you all, should I bring my makeup looks toward the end of the video because someone did suggest it. Now with 153 votes, 64% of you said yes to add them at the end of the wig install videos. And 36% of you said to put them in YouTube shorts. I just want to say thank you to everyone who truly support you know my videos regardless of how I do them so I was going to listen to the majority of you and if I do a makeup look I will definitely put it toward the end of my wig install video so if you want to see how I do my makeup for a particular video it all you have to do is watch I thank you guys so much again if you have any more questions or comments leave them below and I will answer them either directly or in a video before we start, this wig does come in a natural brown color. I have already bleached the knots. I always like to bleach the knots before I do any type of coloring or anything like that. But this is what the cap construction look like. This is a 3D frontal um, 13 by 6 lace wig. You can see it got combs and adjustable straps. Today I'm doing a balayage highlights throughout this wig. Now as you see, I'm starting with a wig that's already brown in color. Now if you want to, you always start with the base color of what you want your hair to be. So for me, I like my base color to be brown, so that's why I'm using this color. But if you wanted it to be a natural black, of course, you just get your wig in a natural black and you can add the highlights through. So first things first, when it comes to wigs, it's really hard to part the back of the wig because a lot of them, if they're not full lace, they have wefts. So you wanna make sure you are evenly sectioning the hair into four sections and making sure that these parts are straight as they possibly can be, even parting through those wefts. Now I'm really excited about today's tutorial because I told you all I was practicing coloring hair and someone said I should have highlighted the last wig. So I was like, okay, well I'm gonna come back and highlight this wig. But I did go back and highlight the wig with the bangs. It's so pretty. If you follow me on Instagram or TikTok, you'll see um, video clips of me wearing it. All right, so I'm gonna start with this back section here. We are going to be taking 30 volume developer. This is what my preference is. If you want really good highlights, go with the 30 volume developer and you can use any type of bleach that you feel comfortable using. All right, so I'm gonna start by parting diagonal sections. I'm parting the hair accordingly on how I want the highlights to go. So if you wanted them to go straight down um, and don't have an angle, you can just part the hair straight across. It's just up to your preference. Now with the bleach, I wanna tell you guys something that I have learned over time. And this is going to blow your mind because not only will it be a game changer to how you highlight your wigs, it's going to make it easier to get the looks that you are desiring when it comes to adding highlights. And it's so simple. I never even knew that this method even existed. So what you want to do when you are highlighting your wig is you want to pretend like you're painting. A lot of times we go into bleaching um, to add highlights and we use chunks of bleach. The less bleach you use, the more it'll have light highlights going through the hair and the bleach won't take as fast. At the top of the hair, you see me stroking the hair very lightly, adding just thin layers. And then at the bottom, because I want like a intense color, I'm going to use a big chunk of bleach and saturate the hair very well. And this part will lighten faster than the previous part that I d just did because of the amount of bleach that I'm adding. So I hope that makes sense. It makes a huge difference in how your highlights turn out, how the wig turn out. But if you want chunky highlights, then use big chunks of bleach. If you want soft highlights, of course, like what I'm creating today, then make sure you use light strokes throughout. 
So with this, I'm going every other section. So I will highlight a section, skip a section, highlight a section, skip a section. And I'm going to do that throughout the entire wig. But I hope that was helpful giving you guys those tips. I'm so excited to do this. Today's wig install is all about getting those real salon results at home. So if you want your wig to look like you went to a stylist, Every step in today's video is mandatory, okay? You have to style. And after we get out of this part um, of the video, we are gonna go into styling the wig. And yes, I'm going also into layering it. So make sure you stay tuned. So this section that I'm braiding, I'm gonna actually highlight last. That'll be the last area but I'm doing the same exact thing with the top. This entire process took about 35 minutes for me to apply all of the bleach to the hair and then I let it sit an additional 20 minutes. It can go faster. I was recording so it did take me a little bit longer. Once your time is up, make sure to hit up that hair with the purple shampoo. This is the one I like to use. I will have all these products linked in my Amazon storefront and then of course follow up with shampoo and conditioner. This right here also is necessary to restore the hair. All right, so after a whole hour of coloring, this is the result. This is what the hair looked like when it is damp. I am going to blow dry it so we can see what the color looked like when it's 100% dry, but it turned out really pretty. I have to admit, I love the result so much. I'm gonna take a bit of BioSilk serum and apply it all over the hair before I blow dry. I'm so glad I started out with the base color as being brown. Like I told you all, um, if you want your base color to be brown or black, that's where you start and then you add those highlights. But this wig is so pretty now. Like I love that I added highlights and I'm not the one to give myself credit for coloring hair, but this turned out so pretty. And look at the hair quality. After a whole hour of bleaching, it's still very, very good quality. The ends are not dry. Everything just turned out so nice. So I highly recommend this wig. If you are looking to color a wig, this wig will be down below in the description box or you can wear it in the color that it naturally comes in. But I love the quality of it. It definitely held up really well and the products that I use to um, shampoo and condition the hair is a must, okay? Everything will be linked in my Amazon storefront, including the tools, um, that I use for my wigs. Right now, giving you guys the full salon experience at home. I'm dropping some gems, some tips. So go ahead and give this video a thumbs up for me if you don't mind. Um, so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and curl the hair. I always curl the hair before I decide to add any layers to it because I feel like it gives me the results. So I want you guys to see that as I get through th this video. But I'm going to also set these curls with some rollers so that I can get some volume. I want the hair to flow very, very, you know, bouncy and just really pretty. Okay, this is welcome to Miss Precious Marie Salon. <laughs> I'm giving you guys the full experience. So I let this sit for at least 10, 15 minutes and now we're going to move into the layering tutorial. All right, so here are the results after I took the rollers out the hair. This is absolutely gorgeous, you all. Um, but I am going to do the install in a different video. I'm just going to show you the last step that I'm going to do, um, and that is layering the hair. I haven't added any layers to it at all yet, so that's what we're about to do. But if you want to see how I installed this wig, make sure to check out part two to this video. I will link it at the end of this video. Um, if it's up, it will be, be linked. The next step I took was to cut layers into the hair. I like to do this after I have curled. That way I can get a visual better of where I want my layers to fall. My first set of layers will start at chin level and I'm cutting at an angle using a razor. And I'm using a razor because it's going to give a more gentle cut and it's going to be more feathered rather than a big chop. So starting from the front, I am cutting at an angle so that the longer layers will be toward the back and at the face, it'll be chin level. So this is what the first section is looking like. And again, the whole goal for my layers today is to make this wig look more like I am wearing hair extensions rather than a wig. And sometimes if you notice people who wear hair extensions and their hair is chin level, 
or a little bit shorter. They always have a layered look, something like what Lauren London likes to wear. Um, so that's my inspiration behind the cut for today. Honestly, I am not the best at cutting hair. So I think this turned out pretty good for what it's worth. But if you feel like you can't do this at home, then you can definitely you know, find a stylist that will do it for you. But today's video is about doing it yourself, making it work. And hey, if it work, it work. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna take my um, curler and just recurl this section. Not really creating a curl, but more like a bend so that the hair can flow um, really well. And then for the top section, um, this is how, how much I'm going to take for each section. And this is going to be my next layer. This section here, I'm going to cut at my cheekbone. So I want this to be like the bang area, but I don't want a short bang. I want it to just be the length um, touching where my cheekbone stops. Now with this section, you don't want to cut it too short. Of course, you want it to stop a little bit above where your last layers are. Um, that way it'll fall naturally. And that's why I'm kind of using my face as a guy. So the first layer was at the chin and then the next layer is at the cheekbone. But yeah, that's how it look. I absolutely love it. You guys can go check out my previous video if you wanna see how I installed this wig. Um, but yeah, I love this so much. I will be sure to put this wig below in the description box. It performed so well with everything that I did to it and it still look healthy. The hair is gorgeous. The lace is amazing and, and blends so very well with the skin. So yeah, everything will be below in the description box. Even the products will be on my Amazon storefront. Thank you guys so much for watching.